How's it everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Court. So I get a lot of requests to review softer polys and that's not usually my cup of tea. I don't really like softer strings, but I decided to try one because I heard that this is one of the softest strings on the market. So today we're taking a look at the Yonex Poly Tour Air. Let's check it out. So this Yonex Polytour Air is the softest polyester string in the Yonex lineup and it's rated as one of the softest polys period on the market. The reason for this is because of its unique construction. It's a traditional monofilament polyester blended with something called HR Elastomer, which is a special additive which is supposed to make this string softer and more comfortable. This Polytour Air comes in this nice sky blue color and as far as I could find, it only comes in one gauge, the 125 millimeter and it runs about $17 for a set of this. Yonex polys tend to be on the little more expensive side, so $17 is right where I expected this to be. On the back of the package, it says for players with slow to medium swing speeds looking for a comfortable string. The slow to medium means that they're gonna need a little bit more assistance with power, which is what a soft poly like this Polytour Air is supposed to give. I'm not a super advanced player by any means, but I do swing relatively fast. So that's the reason why I don't particularly like softer playing strings, but I know a lot of people like that to help protect their arm. So I gave this a try. What's interesting about this is that Yonex has this stiffness meter thing on their packaging. This is an older package, but on this, it says it's a soft plus. On the newer packaging, which is here, the Polytour Air is rated as a hard. So as far as I know, they didn't change the construction. I don't know why they decided to put this from a soft plus to a hard. Might be a liability issue. Somebody might try this thinking it's a soft string and then end up hurting their arm. So maybe it's a way to protect Yonex from a lawsuit or something in case somebody breaks their arm from using this. So that's why they listed it as hard. But regardless, this is supposed to be the softest polyester in the Yonex lineup. Okay, so I got the Yonex Polytour Air strung up in my Yonex E-Zone DR98. This is a very stiff racket, which is why I decided to try it out and test it in this to see if it actually will soften up the response. I bumped the tension up. I usually string at 52, but on this play test, I decided to string it at 54 in the mains and 52 in the crosses because this is supposed to be a softer string and because I believe the E-Zone is so powerful, it plays better at higher tensions. So let's get on the court and let's see if this string really is as soft as they say. So let's talk about the Yonex Polytour Air. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I didn't like this string much at all. I don't mesh with Yonex strings at all. The only two I really like are the Polytour Fire and Polytour Strike. The Polytour Air feels nothing like either of those strings, but I'm not here to bash this string or the brand. I'm here to just talk about the Polytour Air specifically. So let's start with what I did like about this string. First, it has good pocketing. I feel the ball sinking into the string bed on full swings and I like that trampoline effect because I have a difficult time generating my own power because of my short stature. The Polytour Air gave me a much needed assist in power. This could be a double-edged sword as I'll touch on later, but when I struck the ball cleanly, I really penetrated the court and I could see my opponent switch to slice mode almost immediately. The string doesn't really have that crispness in terms of response, just the dwell time seemed decent. Softer strings tend to have good dwell time, but because they're soft, they don't have the same impact response as a stiffer string. Nonetheless, I felt the Polytour Air isn't completely dead and gave me some feedback when I wanted to aim for tight windows. I really like this string on my backhand ground strokes and volleys. Because I have a two-hander and I'm kind of short to begin with, my reach on my backhand swing isn't too long, so I struggle to generate power if the ball is outside my strike zone. But with the Polytour Air, I had good power on low and high backhands. My backhand is also more consistent than my forehand, so I had no issue keeping my backhand swings in play, and I could push my opponent around with it. I often found myself gravitating more to the backhand on my returns because I had more consistency and precision. But my backhand was definitely my favorite shot with the Polytour Air. Next, the volleys. I have a shorter swing on my volleys than most people. I keep the racket in front and imagine catching the ball in the racket so I don't pack a lot of power on my own. 
This stems from my coach who always preached discipline and timing on the volleys. So I was pleasantly surprised with the punch my volleys packed with the poly tour air, especially the mid volleys around my chest level. I could punch through those and take command of the net. With stiffer strings, although I have pinpoint control with my short swing on volleys, I have a hard time putting my opponents on the defensive. But with the air, my regular placement volleys became almost like put away volleys. My serve and volley combo was my go-to strategy with this setup and if I got to net, I felt like I won a high percentage of those points. Speaking of serves, I also really like the flat serve. Combining the powerful E-Zone DR98 with this springy poly, I could blast flat serves all day. My flat serve isn't the most consistent, but when they went in, this string setup, they rarely came back. And that's about where the pros stopped for me, which was a bit of a disappointment because I was hoping I would like this string more. So let's get into the cons. So getting into the cons of the Yonex Poly Tour Air, the aspect I struggled with most was control. The air doesn't get much spin at all, so whenever I tried to attack the ball on returns or aggressive forehands, I sent the ball flying past the baseline. When I missed, it wasn't even close. I really struggled to play my aggressive game with the Poly Tour Air, and I had almost zero confidence playing singles. I did not see my shots diving down inside the baseline as I did with the Poly Tour Rev or Fire. I haven't struggled with my ground strokes this much in a while. Even at 54 pounds in my DR98, I felt this string had very little control. This has less to do with the excessive power and more to do with the lack of spin. When striking the string bed with fast swings, the ball retains too much kinetic energy and results in a high launch, and it doesn't have last second dip. Hitting left and right was also difficult because of the lack of control. I sent a lot of my short angles wide as well. The lack of spin was also noticeable on serves. My kick serves just sat up there for my opponent to attack. I couldn't get the kick serves kicking out wide and out of my opponent's strike zone. This was in stark contrast to my flat serve, which I loved. I was sometimes tempted to just try two flat serves because my kick serves had no bite on it. My slice serves also interestingly didn't clear the net as easily as I thought they would. With softer strings, I usually don't have any issue with net clearance, but I clip the top of the net quite often on my slice serves on the deuce side. Speaking of slices, I noticed the Polytour Air had a pretty high launch angle on slices, so I couldn't keep them low and gliding when I attacked the net. Defensive slices and lobs were fine because of the springy nature of the string, but I prefer something that will keep my slices low so opposing net players can't poach and opposing baseliners have to pop it up. I also prefer a string that gets a little more natural spin. This is why I gravitate more towards shaped strings, but even some round polys like the Yonex, Polytour Fire, Solinko Outlast, Luxon Alu Power, and even Head Links seem to generate better spin than the Polytour Air. Maybe if I tried this string in an 1820 pattern, I could have corralled the high launch, but that would make hitting kick serves even harder. I also didn't really feel connected on my touch shots either. Yonex strings for the most part all play pretty muted and this is no exception. Although the Polytour Air has some decent ball pocketing, I still didn't really feel the ball on the strings for hitting drop shots and angles. In fact, I couldn't get my drop shots to glide centimeters over the net. They floated up and my opponents could run them down pretty easily. This was a deal breaker for me because my game is predicated on touch and finesse. And lastly, the comfort. Although the Polytour Air is marketed as the softest string in Yonex's lineup, I actually didn't feel like it was that soft. It certainly is softer than other strings Yonex produces, but I still felt some stiffness out of the string bed. This might be because I strung it at 54 pounds in my stiff DR98 and less to do with the strings, but I also tried the Ytex Pro Tour in the exact same setup and I thought that string felt a bit softer. Personally, I like stiff strings, so this didn't bother me at all, but since this string is supposedly one of the softest strings on the market, I'm going to put this in the con category because I feel like most players looking for a soft poly could benefit more from some other softer strings on the market. Also, I just want to say that I only played with this string for one session, which lasted about four hours. I never played with it again because I really didn't feel like it, so I can't comment on the tension maintenance or durability. Tension didn't change much though during that one session. Most soft polys are lacking in these two areas, so maybe you can expect gradual tension loss. Maybe someone who has used this string extensively can leave a comment about the tension maintenance and durability. So lastly, who is the Yonex Poly Tour Air for? I think it's for intermediate level players who have slower swing speeds and need assistance with power and net clearance. Or maybe you have tennis elbow and want something softer. 
although I feel there are softer strings out there. Or maybe you just love Yonex or the color and want to match it in an E-Zone racket. I must say, it looks really nice in my blue DR98. But honestly, this is probably my least favorite Yonex string I've tried so far. I'm sorry to be such a downer on this string. I know Yonex is super popular and I'm sure there are some players out there who love this string. That's great, more power to you. But this string is not for me. Yonex polys are also among the pricier strings on the market and I definitely can't justify that price tag. But let's have a civilized discussion in the comments if you do like this string. Next up on the docket for Yonex for me is reviewing one of their stiffest polys. So I'm going to the other end of the spectrum. So look forward to that review. Thank you for watching this review of the Yonex Poly Tour Air right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.